this is Buffer Buddies, and you're listening to episode 74 of this Movie Night podcast. It's like a movie night in your head, anywhere you want to go. Take it with you. Put it in your, your Zoom player. We're watching Johnny Mnemonic. I'm Jared Mnemonic. I'm also in your head, and I'm Tiffany. <laughs> Nick. I'm Nick. Oh, right. okay. <laughs> and I'm rest in peace 120 recipes for 20 Italian tasty hot fresh delicious pizza rest in butters so many <laughs> you need to write them over. down uh, we also there's got, like 30 yeah we also got Chris Alberti and Fava Lava in silent chat uh, I'm gonna hit play on this movie that I'm kind of excited for because it's um, it's kind of like John Wick before John Wick, but also after, because computer age. I can't hit the play button. I'm having some issues. There we go. There we go. Hey, movie time. Wow, is this, is this movie in a square format? <laughs> it's one by one? What is no, happening? It's not one by one. It's like four by three, but let's see. Maybe that's just that part. Uh, okay, oh, we got to read this. Who wants to read it? Second decade of the uh, 21st century. Second decade of the 21st century. City cores like rats in the walls of the world. The most Brain implants. 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 Well, we just lost every single person listening to this episode. (laughs) Here's the thing. Here's the thing. I don't care. You've already downloaded the podcast. Go ahead and leave. (laughs) Just come back next week. (laughs) Some of the ladies... The best things are like when improv... Improv is the best. This is when it works. It's amazing. Oh, is this like hackers? Hackers. Hackers. The way the spell, uh, the, the the way they spell mnemonic, mnemonic. M- m- is that the mnemonic. right spelling of mnemonic? Because I cannot. No, it's P N E U M O N I C. Is it really? Okay, I hate this then because I, I don't even know. Actually, you know, I don't even know if it's spelled that that way. I thought either. it was his last name. I, I think it is. But either so way, it can be spelled whatever, however. He yeah, wants. but anytime I had to look up like this movie, I just put Johnny M N. Johnny M M. Yeah, I'm like, no way, am I going to figure this out? So you guys have snacks? I do actually, for once. Uh, hey, yeah, don't mind. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I have a sweet potato sun chips. Can I? Oh. Can I? Can you guys rate this crunch? Okay. Ready? Hold on, let me get a big piece. Ah. Oh shoot! Whoa! Oh, that's a good crunch. Mm. That's, that's wow. a quality crunch right there. That was good ASMR. Give it a Buffer Buddy style rating. Um, nine out of ten crunches. Oh, all right. but like not the sound crunches, ten. like like ab crunches. Oh, okay. <laughs> ten out of ten potatoes. <laughs> ten it's not ten even a potato though. <laughs> ten no. out of ten what? Wheat based products. But it's not oh wheat. man, is this gonna make my tummy hurt? <laughs> you said it was sweet potato, right? Oh wait, sweet potato. Oh, I forgot that part. Sorry. It's what a is... sweet potato sun chip. How about it oh, I, I don't. What the hell? Yeah, I, I don't know what that is. You want to guess what snack I have? Oh, I. Tortilla okay. chips. Wrong. Pizza and popcorn, dummies. So dumb. <laughs> Tricky. <laughs> didn't, didn't guess, but that, whatever. Oh, I just killed the dummies. So dumb. Someone should so try dumb. calling that phone number. What's uh, the number? Two zero one five five five. It's a it's five five five. It's a movie number. Wait, let me just call it. <laughs> it won't work. All numbers in five 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 are movie numbers. You don't know that. 
I want a full restoration. Why is why is John Wick like moving his head like a sassy woman? Two oh one five 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 seven two nine three. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> he just said it. Oh, 201. What area code is that? 201. Okay, it doesn't work. <laughs> oh. Oh, well then. Uh, at least he tried, you know? I like, told you, the 555, it means it's a movie number. <laughs> it's a movie None number. of those work. Well, at least he tried. I thought I was about to dial up some kind of Yakuza boss or something. I know, I was so excited <laughs> to make new friends. And he's a Johnny Mnemonic? John, Johnny Mnemonic? <laughs> Johnny... Oh, but the, your name is spelt with a P? That's not the right mnemonic. I'm looking for the other Johnny Mnemonic. <laughs> Johnny Oldmonic? Mnemonic. Yeah, the way I remember his last name is M-N, like M and N, and that's how that's a mnemonic device I used to remember Johnny Mnemonic's last name. I feel like Keanu Reeves is always in these, like, weird movies like this. That's what, that's what if I... Hire me, He's like, that, this is the only movies I want to do. He's like the action version of Nick Cage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nick Cage doesn't do action movies? I mean, he did some. I mean... Good action not movies. Not as much as... Yeah. <laughs> good action movies. They're always like weird, like, science-y things. He loves sci-fi. Wait, that reminds me. We're talking about what? Nicolas Cage action movies, right? Yeah. Have you guys oh, seen oh. Face Off? Yeah, that was on the podcast, dude. You just embarrass yourself in front of all eight listeners. Do your research. I didn't know you guys watched Face Off. Episode 60-something. I'm just Why are the children from The Shining there? Oh. He really doesn't age. I can't get this audio. First, it's too loud. Now I can't hear anything at all. What am I doing? My favorite uh, Keanu Reeves media is Final Fantasy XV. Mm. Final Fantasy XV? I'm just kidding. Because Who's at the end, um, the suit, the dog, the suit, and all of it. All of it. Okay, so it wasn't, it wasn't in the 60s. It was in the face. What the hell? When, when 40, we... 40, okay, everyone guess. 49. Yeah, everyone guess. 49 or 46. What are we guessing? What episode what ep- Face Off was. Right. Oh mm, 38. You guys don't even know. It's, I, I don't know. I, I mean, it's there. I oh present. my gosh. Okay, you guys. You never guess it. <laughs> do you, do, do you guys week. guess it? <laughs> Uh, negative one. Twenty-six. Okay. Thirty-five. Okay. I thought that was, um... Who's the guy in Inception? JPL? Paul Rudd? No. <laughs> Paul Rudd is not in Inception. <laughs> oh, wait. Uh, Joseph Gordon-Levitt. Yeah, I thought that was Joseph Gordon-Levitt with long hair, but then it, then what? I looked up and it was an Asian guy. Yeah, the, the, he's in him. a room full of has, Asian people. He has like his glasses or something. I don't know. It's an Asian version of him. Anyways, episode of Face Off was episode 17. 17. What? You cheated. You're a big cheater. <laughs> that didn't seem like that long ago. Man, we yeah. did 60 something wow. episodes almost since then. We've watched a lot of movies. A lot. And of- you can too. <laughs> Go to or you can style. listen to them. You're, I mean, technically, they'd already been there if they're listening to this. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> Go sit down. I am sitting. You know what? <laughs> oh, there's subtitles. I think for this. <gasps> Let me see. I think. I hope. Three hundred and twenty gigabytes. 320 so gigabytes? That's pretty good, actually. I thought it was like you know, 5 megs. The, the problem is, is that we all read the opening yeah, we don't in a know. very chaotic fashion. I have no idea what's happening. Oh, there isn't subtitles. Does any of these say subtitles? subtitle settings. Oh, I think that's settings, not subtitles. Yeah. Well, they have settings for them, but they don't actually have yeah, them. Yeah, it's if you had them, that's how oh. you would set them. You set it and forget it. Let's make our own subtitles. Yeah. Just type it out in chat in real time. I'm gonna cosplay this guy. <laughs> the agent Jarson go to Gordon Levitt? Yeah, the one with the long hair. 
Type, type, type. That's the other thing about this. Oh, I, sh I don't want to say it. Never mind. Ralphie, your agent in New York will arrange the meet for the download. Downloading. Beep, bop, boop. Okay, so I'm going to make a guess. I have a theory about this movie already. Okay. Is that uh, John Wick is a robot. He's yeah, okay. already a robot. So, Wait a I, second, is this Matrix? <laughs> yeah, I think what, what you're saying is that is Keanu Reeves is, is Johnny Mnemonic, but there also exists John Wick in this universe, and he exists because he's a robot. Yes. There is a John Wick. You're like, I'm John Wick, everybody. Get out of my way. Like John, the so John Wick was a person, right? Who like had a dog. He had a couple dogs. He had a few dogs, and then this is now jump a fast forward into the future where there's a robot version of him named yeah. John. They just named Johnny. Well, the thing is, he, he got like he had like a dog got killed, right? That's that's that is John Wick one goes and avenges the dog. Gets a second dog, gets killed. That's John Wick two. Gets a third dog, gets killed. That's John Wick four. <laughs> Okay, so he's he's thinking he's my dogs. They keep killing my dogs. I sleep. I have to keep going and avenging them. So he gets like fifty dogs. He's like, this is this will work. They all get killed. He is he is avenging them every every day for the rest of his life, and he dies. He had to build a robot version of himself to continue the avenging of yes. them. Now Correct. this is year twenty twenty three hundred twenty three hundred. And John Wick just like I, I done it, but I also now need to continue avenging because that is what yes. I'm built for. Yeah, so it's like a crazy like Frankenstein situation yeah. where it's just like Lupin, but yeah, that's, but that's exactly it. So now he's entering the Matrix and becoming Neo. Well, it's actually, it looks it, like it, he's it's, Jared it's, playing VR. <laughs> <laughs> it's a deep state stream. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say it's like the opposite of the Matrix. But it kind of is, because eh, the computer's going into his brain. I guess that is like. I have a new it. theory, you guys. What if he's doing this, and then a part of him exists in the Matrix, like it splits off, so he simultaneously oh exists as a person, but also as a Matrix boy. So all of his movies are actually just interconnected. They're just different iterations of Keanu Reeves. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. What are they? What is that guy doing with the remote? He's like pressing it. Why is it the channel? I guess. He's like, "What's my name?" They're like John Wick. Oh, okay. <laughs> Your name is John Mnemonic. <laughs> John Wick Monic. Wick Monic. What if what if some guy was like, what do we name you? And one guy was like, I want his name to be Johnny. And the other guys, I want his name to be Monica, but not the old Monica, the new Monica. And then while they were filling out the paper, they're like Johnny new Monic. And then they're like, oh, no, we ran out of room. Yeah, I will hit the edge of it. <laughs> Destroy the original. Oh. Destroy the original. Destroy See, the that's the that's the. Yeah, then they original. kill. They kill. They kill Keanu Reeves. Yeah. And then his he has copies, which is Neo. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Yeah, oh, I, I got. I want them to have like. I don't know if they ever tell you what the data is, but I hope it's just like, like a you know, bunch of comic books, <laughs> like, <laughs> like something super unimportant that they're like, yeah, it might kill you. Anyways, uh, these are my family photos. Can you get them across town? <laughs> it's someone's subbed animes. <laughs> Now he's doing like like movements from the OA on Netflix, or it's kind of like he thinks he's in a computer. And he's like, I'm typing. <laughs> There's the keyboard. I love uh, John Wick style yoga. Yes, that's a that's a uh, yoga style. <laughs> Are everybody doing a seven? somersault? Did that sink say seventeen degrees? Uh, Celsius, maybe. I know that's what I'm wondering. I'm like, wait, that's so, really that, cold water. Yeah, I was gonna say it's cold. It's super cold, not for Fahrenheit, but it's still pretty cold for Celsius. Wow, so much! Bang, bang, bang! <laughs> I don't know your name. name. All I want is bang, bang, bang. <laughs> 
Man, I don't. This movie is this movie volume crazy for you guys? Like the talking super quiet and then the guns are like super loud. Yes. Yeah. I, I, every yeah. time I turn it down because it's loud, then all of a sudden it feels like the movie's muted and I have to go turn it back up. I don't know what's going on. Next time, not Baldy. Baldy. Is Keanu Reeves a good actor? That was a question someone asked because my parents, I guess, they saw the new Johnny Mnemonic, which is. Um, Computer clones. Oh, uh, re Reaper read uploaded Rem remnant. remnant remnant or something like that. Yeah, and I think some one of my parents said the same thing. Like, is he a good actor? Replicate, like, I don't replicate. know. Yeah, replicate, replicate, Re replication, replicate, replicate, replicate. Yeah, there you go. And then, you like know, a he might be. He, he might have a, a what's that guy I hate. <laughs> I can't remember anything. Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp. He might have a Johnny Depp situation where he just plays the same. No, but he didn't though. He played Bill and Ted, which was actually his acting was pretty good in that. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. It's hard to gauge. It's kind of like a uh, Robert Downey Jr. Yeah. Where it's like Robert Downey Jr. acts so normal. Is he even acting? Like. Is what did they good? burn? And how come they this ripped guy... his arm off with that like oh. laser? Wire thing, laser whip, kinky. <laughs> oh, because oh. oh, he was trying to burn a picture. I was crying because they burnt his picture. I'm like, isn't the whole point? But I think he cut off his hand, and because he burned it, and then he was crying because he cut off his hand, like a baby. Yeah, it's like he never has hand cut off by a laser whip before. How would that hurt? Yeah, but you don't need to be a baby about it. But he wouldn't bleed, right? Oh my gosh, is that Johnny Depp? I mean, dang it. Is that Keanu Reeves acting like a bellhop man with the glasses? Oh my that gosh. That was good I acting wanna, right there in that five seconds. I want a video game starring Keanu Reeves, and then you can become like... It's basically like Mario with the different Matrix hats. Matrix Reloaded for PS2. But different hats and Mario. No, I, I want just want Mario reskinned with uh Keanu Reeves. I want the I want the I want the Keanu Reeves game where you play as Keanu Reeves. <laughs> but it, it it goes to all his movies since like he's like gotta fight these guys in the computer. And he's like I'm being Matrix Keanu Reeves and he goes into the computer and he's like I gotta memorize this. I'm Johnny Mnemonic Keanu Reeves. And he's like, I need but a time a travel. Visual... I'm Bill and Ted. Kill... Yeah, yeah, it's him physically. But it's a visual novel instead, so it's all text. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be the next uh, Bender Snatch on Netflix. Oh, I see. Oh, my God. Choose your own Keanu Reeves adventure. <laughs> Choose, your own Ke Choose your own Keanu Reeves. <laughs> Which Keanu Reeves will you use to figure solve the pro solve the problem? That hand. <laughs> yeah, it's like a Lego, like Lego uh, game where you can choose yeah. character. Yeah. And then DLC clothes. I don't know what's happening in this movie. Oh, cool. Subtitles because they're speaking different language. <laughs> yes. That's nice. Guys, I'm almost done with the first campaign of Taz. Oh, oh, Taz. A different that's... podcast. That's not this one. <laughs> How exciting. A better podcast. That's not better than this one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's so good. It's a, uh, it's a good story. The ending made me, like, legit cry. I listened to that at work, no. and this is when I worked for the government. But it's, it's, it was, like, a good cry. It's happy. Um, Don't say anything. Yeah, but, um... I was listening to it at work when I was working at my government job and there I was like I look at like a lot of people's like income statements and so like I just had to stand up and go to the bathroom and just like cry because <laughs> I didn't want people to think that I was just crying over people's income statements. <laughs> but uh, It was good. I liked it a lot. I'm excited for you to finish. Do, 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 do. So uh, uh, this movie is boring. <laughs> How are your uh, tortilla chips? I have popcorn. I'm eating popcorn. I told you that. <laughs> I thought you said you were gonna comment on your tortilla chips. Oh yeah. Oh my heist. Yeah, so, he was yeah. segueing you in. Oh, yeah, yeah. I forgot. Um, <laughs> so, anyways, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not eating those right now, so I'm not gonna talk about it. No. Um, 
at work we got we got we have lunch on Fridays. Then we didn't get an email about like what it was today, so I was like, I don't even know. And then um I got like, oh lunch is here and it's El Pollo Loco. It's like, yeah, El Pollo Loco is solid, solid choice. It's really good. Chicken good. Um the only thing is like I never get I never at El Pollo Loco get chips or their their churros. Because I'm not even sure that I don't even, I don't even know if I know those exist. But um, we always get, like, because it's catered, a big thing of chips and a big thing of churros, which is, like, super good. I mean, they're not that great churros, but free churros are good churros. And then, like, they're like, oh, there's so much food left over. Take some home. But I waited too long, and it was all gone. But then I was like, okay, well, when I leave, I'm going to – I'll check, and I'll take some chips like I normally do. But chips are annoying to, try, like, take <laughs> because in the little to-go thing, if you fill up, like, a little to-go – like container the chips are like they're like atoms they're mostly empty space because they're so awkward to pack in there so it's always super disappointing because like one time I, I packed chips and then like i ate them on the way home and i was like oh they're already gone it was like <laughs> not that many and i was like well it's pretty late and there's still a ton of chips left i'm like i'm just gonna take the whole catering trip <laughs> so i just took it and ran out the door and i was like no one i just like planned all my steps so no one would see me carrying this big metal tray of chips and so that, I wonder if I, you're I caught on the security free. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. That's like one of the main things that we do. It's like security anal and footage analyzation. So I'm sure there's like <laughs> theft monitor going off. This man stole something. Um, but uh, I'm, I'm, so, I'm on some camera, but I'm, I'm always wondering. The trick with security cameras is someone has to look at those in order for you to get caught. Um, so hopefully at least that hopefully no one knows. But either way. <laughs> It's um, probably the guy who has to clean up after you guys, and he's just like, "Oh, good, someone took all of that, so I didn't yeah. have to throw it no, away." No, I mean that, that was my point. Is like they actually, I didn't see the food or where it was, and then I like opened a trash can. And I saw like a bunch of tortilla, like tortilla, like uh, I guess there's tortillas, <laughs> just like thrown away. And I was like, "Oh, beans!" They just threw away a bunch of food because it was like it got so late, and I didn't like. Like, by four, if you don't take the food, I guess they just throw it away or something stupid. Uh oh. And I'm like, but I don't leave till five-ish. So I was all sad. And so I was like, I don't know what they, if they threw away chicken or not. So that was my thing is, like, they want this gone, you know? And yeah. I was like, it, it's past a certain cutoff. I'm just going to take the whole damn thing. You know, like, I'm helping <laughs> so them. You, you were thieving for a good reason, for a good cause. I think so. Cause now You're like a Robin Hood, but you steal for yourself. Yeah, but it's from people who don't want money. <laughs> like I have this too much money. If you don't take it, I'm gonna throw it in the lake, and then my Robin Hood comes in and goes, "Thanks." So that's what. Isn't that what yeah, is, isn't that what like a sugar daddy is? I, I guess. <laughs> I mean, it's not like. It, well, I mean, they don't say they're gonna destroy the money if you don't take it. <laughs> they just. They just. They want. Does to a chip? Does a chip daddy exist? <laughs> chip daddy. Are you are you looking it up? <laughs> Wait, hold on. Actually. <laughs> but yeah, so now on my way home I was just eating chips for like 20 minutes while I was driving and then got really <laughs> thirsty are they salty or did you add salt they're salty they're pretty good chips they're pretty solid chips they're not as good as chipotle chips obviously but some of them are really good tasting some of them aren't so good tasting it's kind of a grab bag but they're decent chips for, them, for a, a place that doesn't specialize in chips they're just a chicken place is there like a chip place? All kinds of chips, potato chips, tortilla like a, chips. Like a like a store or a restaurant where you just buy chips? Yeah, you know how like Sprinkles Cupcakes only does cupcakes. Yeah, I don't. Not that I know of. Not down here. Maybe in San you should, Francisco. You should start one. I would oh, love oh, that. Her, her. A chip what? food what chip? truck. Why is iced tea in this movie? What? <laughs> what? That the? was iced tea. Are you sure? Hundred percent. I saw it too. I saw I saw the ice ice tea man. I think that was a cameo. That was weird. Was he even famous? Who? What, this movie's old. Yeah, I um, was like, is this like his first acting thing? I want to open up a chip and popcorn place. That's what I'll open up. What would you call it? Pop chips. Oh, that's something uh, writing. Oh damn yeah, it! Yeah, I think. Call it chip daddy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well that was easy. <laughs> so much for that game. <laughs> Dang it! That was really good. <laughs> chip Daddy, the Urban Dictionary for, uh, definition of Chip I'm Daddy scared. is Father of the Chips. Yes, uh -oh, there correct. You go. <laughs> how many how many upvotes does that have? None. Yeah, I didn't <laughs> think so. I did, I feel like recipes. Did you just go and make that right now? I feel like when you just went and submitted it. 
<laughs> hey, let me let me put you this idea, Jared. Chip okay. Daddy and Papa Corn. Oh man, that's pretty good. And the next door, it could be like connected. Is my peanut butter and jelly gourmet gourmet peanut butter and jelly restaurant? Mmm. Peanut butter and Jared. Yeah, PB and J. PB and Jared. <laughs> Whoa. Who's, who's, I, that's I, oh dang. They're not gonna show him. Why is Keanu Reeves hiding and not just fighting them? He could fly. <laughs> <laughs> Can he fly? In the Matrix. Oh. <laughs> this is the apparently. Matrix. According to IMDb, that Ice T is actually the like main bad guy in this movie. Oh, Weird. I did hilarious. not know that. Or maybe I did. I did get this movie from How Did This Get Made. I don't remember it though. It's been a while. A couple of months easily. There's Ice T. That's so weird. Oh ah, man! I got my popcorn. And what's a what's a really odd choice for a villain, like a celebrity that isn't an actor that you would want to see as a villain? That isn't an actor. That isn't. Yeah, correct. Not an actor. Danny what is Olsen. a celebrity that's not an actor? I'm trying to think now. Danny Elfman? Danny Elfman. Is that the composer? Danny Elfman. Yeah, the composer. Yo-Yo Ma? Yes. Bro. What, what did you call me? Yo-Yo Ma. <laughs> Yo-Yo Ma. Yo-Yo Ma. Here, I got it. I got it. A villain? Marie Kondo. Oh, man. I can see she's one of those Do nice voice villains actors count? that kills you. He's... Yeah. Recipe, say that again. I said, do voice actors count? Yeah, yeah. Say that <laughs> second one. <laughs> I meant for like, do you said movies. No, you said actor. Pick a villain who's not an actor that you'd want to see as a villain. Voice actors. <laughs> oh, okay, out of curiosity, what voice actor were you thinking of? The lady who does Naruto. She's in a Disney Channel show. That's funny. That's cool. Anyways. I was going to say, the, the girl, the lady whose voice is um, Widowmaker. Oh. The French lady? Oh, that's a pretty good choice, I guess. But that doesn't count because she acts. And also acts as a villain. <laughs> Already. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Johnny Depp. Johnny. That's who I picked. Johnny Depp. Oh my god. <laughs> Burn. Slammed him. You know, if I keep making fun of him, maybe one of his fans will get mad and he'll <laughs> and then and then show our, our podcast to him, and that's how we get famous. Like, we, I just started. That shot. Oh, what happened? I missed it. He just got his head slammed into a stall, and oh. they like it was just him, like just boop. Like, like, he didn't even look like he got his head slammed into it. He just looked like he, he just like laid, laid down on it. Bye. Good night. <laughs> Nap time. Um. <clears throat> Isn't that? This movie that? sucks for this man. I'm, I'm, you're already kind of, I'm already alluding to my rating of this movie. A lot of talking. Not a good movie for this. Yeah, like, I always no. wanted to watch, like, Blade Runner on this, but I don't oh think my gosh, it would be that would good be, for this. We would have to do, a, maybe if we do, um, like, the voiceover improv thing. Maybe. Wait, we would have to figure what? out something to do in all those silence parts. And that's also like a three-hour long movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you guys yeah, yeah. see what Favola -fa -fa said? You guys Fava -lava. Gross one influential person every episode maximum. Yeah, I like that. Because every episode we just like just just tear one into them. But like what if like, like you Johnny Depp, you couldn't even make a PB and J if you tried, you dummy. You would even know which end of the jar to open. And you just What do if that. we gave him a what if we gave him a buffer buddy style rating? <laughs> oh man. Ten out Johnny, of ten. Johnny Depp's. One out of ten, kind of crazy, frantic, oddball man. Men. Oddball men. Nick said Bob Ross. <laughs> That's a pretty good one. It kind of doesn't oh. work because he's, he's not alive. <laughs> he won't. He won't react to it. <laughs> he's not gonna retweet our our 
He's not going to respond to our tweets. I think he meant as a villain, right? Oh, oh are you talking about? Uh, are we not, are we going back to that? That's a really good one, actually. Um, Bob Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> Do those count as actors though? Because they have TV shows, but they're like more reality based, right? So, are you saying that doesn't act? It doesn't count as actors. I'm. I guess they're I, actors. I, they're acting. Yeah, I would say they're on a TV thing. Like, so they can't, you would they can't classify. Really be, you would classify both Bob Ross and Gordon Ramsay as actors? I would say they're more actors than yeah. not. Yeah. What? Well, 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 Gordon Ramsay. Is, Gordon, he, Gordon, he Ramsay <laughs> Gordon Ramsay is 100% acting. You're right about that, Recipes. You're absolutely right. He's 100% acting. Like he's admitted it. Like yeah, it's it may not be maybe maybe not memorized lines, but it's still acting. You know. He's a nice dude. I feel like. I guess. Yeah, he is. Bob Ross. A little bit more arguable, but also, like I said, it's for a TV show. It's it's it is a controlled environment. I would say maybe maybe some people on reality shows where like it's a little bit. Those are all fake too. Never mind. No, you can't really argue those. Those are garbage. All right, all right. I'll give it to you. You guys win this time. All right. What I get? The satisfaction of uh, Gordon Ramsay's uh, appreciation. Get that all every single time. I want something different. <laughs> I already have that. I'm sorry that you're his real son and you get his his uh, admiration all every day. Are these robots fighting each other? Is this just Detroit become human? I don't think there's any robots in this show, Tiffany. Otherwise. What? Why does right. everyone look like a robot, though? It's the future. Everyone's a robot. In everyone the dresses like that. I like the idea that everyone this, is a robot. This open grate will protect us from bullets. Open grape. <laughs> yes, open grape. Oh, no, he whipped him apart. Why would he do that? He whipped him apart? <laughs> why wouldn't... Why would okay. that, yeah, I don't. Why would the whip go through a human but not metal? Yeah. Is it only organic matter or something weird? Probably. Never know. Oh, that was so you? bad. What are you doing? Like, what are you doing? was that out like, of sync so... with you guys, or is that just my audio setup? It was like really delayed for me. Uh, it, I didn't. Yeah. Notice. I couldn't tell if that was the weird part or if it was just like the way he said it. Yeah. Same. Same. <laughs> It might just be bad ADR. Why would you need an ADR such like an easy scene though? Like, it's like what would go wrong in that? Noise where you'd be like, say, things, say, right? say yeah, that again. Lots of outside noise. Oh, okay. The the uh, boom mic like guy city went streets. to sleep. How much ADR is a movie typically made up of? About All seventy percent. Well, what seventy percent? That's so much. That seems like a like yeah. I never think of like yeah. the actors being in the sound booth talking over their own movies it's crazy but yeah it's nutty professor so you have to go and film this movie right you're out there doing like a backflip going yeah, and then doing a kick <laughs> doing, doing what doing a, sorry doing a backflip going here yeah, and then, you do and a, then a, a what flip a, a front flip <laughs> and you do a doing, kick yeah, uh, and, you and, do then a punch, a, and then a what a poo -yo, uh, oh I see Wait, can you do that one more time? For okay, punch. just making sure yeah. that I... So you do all that, and then you're like, oh, go now, you're done. You've been on the, you've been filming this for, what does the movie take? 12 months? 15 months? Depends on the movie. Three years? Okay, so you're filming this movie three years on average, I'm um, sure. Because the movie's a, they're two hours long. You know, for me to make a video, it's like a week for like a minute, so... Um, so you multiply that by three weeks. What is 120 hours by three weeks? Uh, three times 120. That's 360 weeks. Yeah. So then you divide that by 52. Five, 10, 50. So six years per movie. So you're on this movie. You're filming. And then you're like someone's like, okay, we've done it. But all <laughs> why didn't you believe it? All the audio is bad. Can you redo all those sound effects <laughs> you did six years ago? And you're like, yeah, I could still do those. And then you have to Did go you do in the, the room. Noise? Uh, I didn't do a kickflip noise. Kickflips are like, whoosh, they're like silent. They're like oh, super, the backflip, back kick. Oh, backflips like, yeah. And then the what did you, whatever front else? Flip. Front flip. Front flip. Whoa. See, it just misses the opposite. 
Because <laughs> he's trying to do backflip. You have to make the opposite noise. <laughs> I see. I understand. Yeah. Um, and then you have to go into a booth and you have to do like a. You have to talk. You have to do, fake all that again? That's crazy. Well, you, you don't. You hear it. Like, you hear it played back. Yeah, but you still have to talk. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying, it seems crazy. You have to redo but, like an entire like, movie, but like standing there. Yeah. So doesn't that make all actors voice actors too then? I mean, technically. All in actors a are voice sense. actors and not, but not yeah. all voice actors are actors. But not on screen actors, maybe. Yeah, which is different. There's a different skill there. But all, all on screen actors have to be voice actors, at least for themselves. I think, I think they're a degree of voice actors. It doesn't mean that they're good at voice acting, but they're technically voice acting. Yeah, that's you know right. I'm not mean? saying, I'm not saying like, well, I'm not saying they could go and, go and do cartoons because that's a, yeah, it's definitely a different thing. But they have to have the skill of syncing up their voice to their movements. I didn't know that. I didn't know that was a common thing. I always felt like that was an exception to the rule. Is that the Borderlands lady? <laughs> Oh, no. no, but man, it does have the same stupid effect that's super <laughs> weird. <laughs> Menacing face shift. <laughs> the angel? Yeah. With a real. Yeah, I hated that. I didn't understand. And oh, wow. I'm pretty sure they changed her in the second one or yeah, something. I, I'm, right? I'm, they did. Yeah, Different yeah. voice actor. Yeah, the, I think she was a... Voice yeah, actor oh. or on-screen actor or both. reality actor? <laughs> it's a both person, yeah. Oh, I see. Here's a cool thing on this ad I just saw on Facebook. Super Render Farms. Uh, it's only $0.004 per gigahertz hour. That's pretty good. Gigahertz hour. I don't know exactly what that results into actually rendering a video or 3D thing out, but that's kind of cool. Yeah, you could... You could render three. I don't know why I'm giving them this free ad, but I just thought it was interesting. <laughs> 3ds Max, Maya, and Cinema 4D Blender. Oh, so you could render all these 3D stuff on their farms. That's neat. Are you sure you're not John Jared Mnemonic? Render me, please. Pay for the service. <laughs> render me. <laughs> render me. <laughs> Won't you render me? <laughs> Render me. <laughs> Render no. me, partner. <laughs> Paul partner. Partner. Render me, partner. That's so funny. That sounds like a coach. Like you rendered me like with the with the cowboy hat, partner. Look what you've done. <laughs> partner. <laughs> partner. Partner. Sugar. 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 Let's hear about the whole <sighs> snafu with Kingdom Hearts. Uh, sure, I guess, because this movie is not going anywhere at all. So, so uh, Kingdom Hearts 3 is set to release on the 29th in the U.S. People who ordered it on Amazon in the East Coast are already getting their copies, which shouldn't have happened. Okay. And uh, GameStop over uh, fulfilled their... Their, what their stock so basically uh they were ha they had a canceled bundle order so people who ordered the ps4 branded or like the kingdom hearts branded ps4s with the game uh they had they got cancellations because they didn't have enough and and GameStop's response to that was, here, have a $25 gift card. And so a lot of people are mad because they're like, I sold my old PS4 for yeah. this new PS4. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like crazy pants. I, I don't know. This, that, that thing. Okay, one, stop buying stuff from GameStop. They're literally like one of the worst companies and they could not think less of their, their customers. Two, I don't. that's literally the point of a pre-order is like, yo, if 5,000 people want this thing, cool. We should order probably 5,000 and a few extra. You know, like, it's... Yeah. It's, it's the only point that I would ever want to do a pre-order... And don't pre-order games. Stop pre-ordering stuff in general, too. Everyone should stop doing that. But if you're going to pre-order, that's, like, the reason why. I want to ensure that I'm going to get one of these things. So it's like, what did you do with those numbers when people pre-ordered that? You know, it's, like, so insane. And I guess another thing, too, was that they were having uh, concerns or something like that during E3. And GameStop said, don't worry, we got you. But we'll you make did. sure. <laughs> but yeah. you did not do it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, this stupid stuff like that's dumb. Yeah, but I'm, I bought from the uh, 
the publisher's website. So hopefully, yeah, I you're... got my 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 shipping notification. Um, but I, you know, like it's still not in my hands. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but like that was the thing I read somewhere. It was like someone was like, oh, because of leaks, they may not do concurrent releases. But and then someone's like, "Isn't that the whole point?" I'm like, "Yeah, that seems like that's exactly like what a concurrent release would do. Otherwise, if you give it to Japan first, they're just gonna leak it to the United States. I don't understand what how getting rid of concurrent releases would stop that. Also, Tiffany, look on the paper world. <laughs> the paper world. <laughs> um. So yeah. So Japan actually got it. I just want to explain uh, that uh, Johnny Numak just opened up like a virtual. Earth thing. We were ta- I'm referencing a video that we were watching earlier about these guys playing Arma 3 talking like cavemen. There you go. Oh, these um, graphics are good. These are really good effects. I know. That's what I'm, I'm like. This is really amazing. Surprised. How much money did this? What was this? What year was this? This is so good. 95. What's this movie called? What? Did this not have the best effects for that time? 25 are- million. Uh, it only grossed 19. <laughs> Nine. Oh man. Wait. I'm well, seeing 40 33, million. 33.3 3 in worldwide, but USA only 20, only 19. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. I'm just, I'm just like stunned at those visual effects. Unless, I, unless, cause I'm watching it really small, and so maybe I'm not <laughs> full, seeing it in its full. That's, that's like where the, the, the budget went. Maybe because that's like. Just this one scene? Yeah, it looks pretty great. much really good. I am very surprised. It's funny because it cuts back to the real world, and somehow that looks like crap. Like You could tell it's filmed on like film, and it's not like digital. It's like it's kind of grainy, a little bit like washed out. And it cuts to the, the 3D effects. It's like, whoa, look at that. It's almost <laughs> better than the real life just because of like, the. it's funny. They were probably hoping for like people like you who would like sell the movie that way. Did you guys yeah. see that movie? For yeah, the scene? I almost like watch a movie for this effect. Because also, and those VR gloves. So that's what I love watching about these old movies was that they like had this idea of like VR, and then we are like, ah, it's like we're like when the, so here's the here's the phases. This is kind of like what is it? Denial, anger, bargaining. Yeah. <laughs> it's Depression. kind of like, we had the same thing with like VR. Is we had this romanticized version of it. We put in movies. Then we we're like, okay, that's so silly, not gonna happen. And then as technology got better like can't you believe it that's what we thought so embarrassing and then vr comes out and we're like actually and then we're like oh wait i wish we had that technology watching these old movies and now like oh we're actually getting really close to having that movie back in the, those old movies so you go like full circle from like loving this thing and then like hating it and then actually going oh wait that is actually pretty close to what we have because those those gloves are amazing that's actually what we were working towards Why did why does this thing sound like Trump right now? I don't know. It's because tr- Trump died and uploaded himself into oh, a no, firewall. Oh no! A firewall. Oh, I see what you did there. I understand. Here's here's what I'm predicting. Johnny Mnemonic Wait. VR game. Johnny Mnemonic VR game. You're gonna buy it. 2021. Is, that, is he is he Edward Scissorhands now? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Edward Laser Fingers. <laughs> He had scissors on it, the end of his oh, were they virtual scissors? fingers. I thought they were like lasers. Mm. I don't know. Laser scissors. <gasps> oh. Wow, oh, I, I, I feel see. like Ready Player One really ripped this movie off. Yeah. But like on purpose, or? Uh, uh, yeah. I mean, they probably just like, hey, just like they probably made. Well, wait, when did the book come out? Like, uh, I think it's like fairly recent, like not as. Oh, then, yeah, he might have seen this and was like, what about this book? Ready, player. Ready, okay, uh, player. Okay, one book. I did not like that book. Yeah, I was can, not a fan that of that want. book. At oh, yeah, all. you're right. Came out 2011. That is pretty recent. Dang, that a lot more recent than I thought. I, uh, it's just, it's, it's, that book to me, that book to me was the, the book version of a human, like, 4chan forum, (laughs) you know what I mean? Like, it was just so full of, like, references, and I was just like, we get it, you vape, like, it was just too much, like, 
this guy was picked on when he was little, and so he wrote this book to prove that he could be cool. And then it's just like, no one cares. I know all the, the game things that you lies Yeah, like. let me shove all these references in this book, but also, like... And then also the stereotypes of, like, oh, this girl, like, I love her, but she's not very pretty. She's normal, but I'm, I can see the bubble. I'm a good yeah. guy. <laughs> yeah, it was just... I was like, okay, man, I hate this. When I was looking into stuff like that, though, it was so weird because there's so many people who, like, didn't get that at all. And then there was a big, like, a group of people who, like, were, like, totally on board, like, in agreement with, like, what you're saying. It was such a vast, like, I don't know. I, I mean, because I haven't read it. So I was just trying to, like, okay, I was just trying to see, like, see it through everyone else's eyes. And it was mm-hmm. such a binary. Like, either they were, like, that book was gross and saying, like, stuff like that. And then other people were, like, I love it, video games. And I'm, like, you, do you guys not even see it? And so people were, like, hmm, I never thought about it like that way. And it's, like. I never seen something that was like so like psychotic. Is that the right word? I think that was the right word. Uh, I just thought that was really interesting that there's like yeah. people who don't agree like, with you, but like there's a lot of people who do, and it's like not even like anyone that's like I don't know. It seemed like people were oblivious to it or like totally like hated the book. Yeah, and I was like, you can't win me over with your references. I also don't care if you're driving a DeLorean. You know, like it's just like yeah. stuff like that. It's like oh. <laughs> Oh, uh, brother. Well, that was one of the funny things I, I, I read when I was, like, trying to research into, like, other people who didn't like the book. And one person was, like, the joke. They were, like, that guy's a that guy's a jerk jerk because he, he drove a DeLorean in real life with the Ghostbusters logo on it. But, like, because people then, because, you know, people are, like, oh, DeLorean, back to the future. But the joke, one, I guess this was someone else kind of saying this. And I kind of, oh, I get it. I get it. I think um, the joke is because at the time when the DeLorean came out, it's a piece of crap car. That's, like, that's why it was in Back to the Future, and that's why Marty McFly was like, you made a DeLorean into a time machine? Not because he liked the car, because it's literally the worst idea ever. Why would you pick such a dumb, heavy, slow, garbage car and make it into a time machine? You know, that's like literally like, yeah, it kind of like the equation. Like you pick, you made a trash garbage can into a time machine. Why would you do that? And so to then voluntarily drive that car kind of is like you didn't get the joke it's a dumb car you know and then like and then yeah. to put then some i can't remember what he also yeah. said something about like putting the the ghostbusters logo on it was also i think that's also part of like the same joke that ghostbusters had like it's a dumb car and so like you're just like look at me i drive a dumb car <laughs> like something like that or, like yeah, yeah, really yeah. funny like you shouldn't like you a, a, a person who got the joke wouldn't want to drive those things sort of yeah speaking. it's kind of like the, it's basically you know at hot topic they have shirts that say muggle on it yeah, yeah. I was like, well, I wouldn't want a shirt that says muggle on it. It's even kind of it's a, like a, it's Harry kind of a slur. Yeah, it's kind yeah, of. Yeah, it's also like, <laughs> true. here, let me let me wear a shirt that says normal person. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> Not special. Because that's how they yeah. use it in the, in the movie. Everyone yeah. in the movie is normal. And then people who are not normal or who are not normal, which are not wizards, are unspecial. And so yeah, and I'm just like, OK, so that's basically what that sounds like to yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, very similar. Very similar. You're not supposed to want to drive a DeLorean. That's the joke in in uh, Back to the Future. And yeah. so to like voluntary do it's like you didn't get the joke. Yeah. So that was kind of yeah. someone's like mocking him for like pop culture references. Not yeah. really my views. I just thought that was an interesting, funny take on it because I never actually really thought about it like that because I didn't grow up with the DeLoreans. I've only mm-hmm. known the DeLoreans from Back to the Future. So I, I was always like, DeLorean Back to the Future. I get it. Yeah. And but then to be like, no, no, no. They are dumb cars. They failed. They are heavy. They were super heavy. It's a dumb car to pick. It's like, oh, yeah, huh? I didn't know that. I just never put those ideas together that like they didn't sell well for a reason. And that's yeah. the joke that Back to the Future is making the entire movie. That was the whole thing. And then it's flying at the end. That's also probably a big joke that such a heavy car could even fly. <laughs> like, I think those are all jokes that kind of went over my head because I didn't know the. the yeah. Uh, uh, that word I'm trying to think of <laughs> context I didn't understand the context to the full, fullest degree <laughs> but yeah so basically fun. oh go ahead fun I'm fact a... this oh, oh god this <laughs> film <laughs> actually takes place in January 2021 oh what 20, oh so cool we'll have well, two yeah, years I, you know okay wow okay wow then wow I can't believe I said that they would have a giant mnemonic game in 2021 because also, we might have those VR clubs by then, which is actually kind of <laughs> cool. Like, they might have actually predicted something pretty actually. We might have the VR that's similar to what, what we saw in this, which is amazing. I wonder if they waited on purpose. They're like, we have the tech now, but we can't release it. It's yeah. not 2021 yet. We had this <laughs> what we have today back in the 80s. <laughs> we're, we're just going to wait. It has to. It has to be. 
2021. Oh, I think so. I know nothing about this movie. I think she's also a data smuggler. That's all. <laughs> so they I'm just, just have, guessing. They have data. They're basically walking USBs. Yeah. Well, so I was about to say something earlier and I kind of realized that it's dumb. I'm going to say it anyways. Uh, I was like, how come? Why would you need to upload this into your brain when those discs are pretty small? It feels like you could just like swallow it. Or something like that, and then smuggle it, like a, like you know, and then go somewhere, and then be like. Maybe. But the reason why, I mean, I'm gonna kill my own joke here. Is it here. just like harder? I think they did like he got in an elevator and like scanned his body and it showed like bones. It was like an X-ray, and I would be like, oh, that's why, because it would scan and see. I don't know actually. Cause, oh, cause can you? Oh no no no! I think they're storing data directly into their brain. Maybe they don't have a device in their head, so it looks all organic. I don't know. I just yeah, think I don't know. There's a, you can't put it into your body because they'll just detect that and be like, cut it out of him. I don't know. Yeah, maybe. Let's just stick with that. But if they know that he has it, then what's the difference? Yeah. I'm enjoying this TED Talk. Good yeah, I'm just, trying to, I'm just trying to break down logic based on a movie that I've watched two seconds of and then have been... Talking about Ready Player One. Yeah, Ready Player One. Dude, this scene right now, it looks like he's on the Nebuchadnezzar in uh, Matrix. What did you call me? Nebuchadnezzar. <laughs> Who's this dude? I, I think he looks he, like Arrow. He looks like a wrestler that they put glasses on to make nerdy. <laughs> it's like not selling yeah. it to me. Well, I'm a computer guy. Uh, smash! Like he looks really buff and kind of funny with those big old glasses. What if it was John Cena? What would you yeah, do? Yeah, hey, maybe. To me, it's just like they put glasses on him. We're like, no, he's still kind of, kind of too big. And they just keep putting bigger, subsequently bigger glasses on. And they're like, all right, these are big enough. <laughs> you know what they say about a guy with big glasses? Poor eyesight. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what they say? <laughs> wow. Oh, goodness. It's, it's the Lord. <laughs> yeah, well, why does he have a shepherd stick thing? For the, like, Maybe it was like a get off my stage thing. Yeah, he's like, why does he look like an actual shepherd? <laughs> like he's gonna go herd some sheep right now. Is it like a symbolic thing? Probably. He's gonna go herd some data sheep. Did he put his hand in? Why does he just have that? Rock? Liquid nitrogen. Rock. Oh. What, what? 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 Tiffany? What? What did you what? say that was? Rock. Rock. Rock what? Rock? Rock juice. Yeah, rock, <laughs> rock juice. You know in rock school yep. when they put the rose in rock juice? I, that was my favorite part of high school. The rock I don't juice know, experiment. This is a they can do whatever they want. This guy, is, is, there's no sheep, but he's a shepherd. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you didn't have to do that. <laughs> What if every time you cried, you had it, you like it, you made you talk like a baby? <laughs> Isn't that how it works? What's the difference between now? <laughs> I'm just saying, you're like, hey, they wanted to do that chicken nugget. <laughs> but, like, you can't control that. <laughs> you're like, you are crying, therefore, your speech is baby style. <laughs> <laughs> I got into a car accident. <laughs> Ew. Wow. Take me to the hospital. <laughs> like, like that's how you sound, no matter what. Oh no, I'm having a heart attack. <laughs> yeah, <Please help exactly>. <laughs> I'm having a heart attack. <laughs> it hurts. Oh. You sound like Jamey. <laughs> Jamey. <laughs> uh, oh, there, there it is. There, hey, there, there's the X-ray. Oh, did it show his head oh, brain? Skull brain? Right there. Oh, wow. So, I don't know the point of I don't downloading know. it into yeah. your brain. I just feel like that disc was small enough to swallow if you really wanted to. <laughs> Data digestion. I guess that guy's, that, the guy with the glasses is actually from Sons of Anarchy. Oh, neat. Wait. Which guy? <laughs> like, which guy? What's his name in Sons of Anarchy? Yeah. AJ Weston. Uh, uh. Oh my gosh! Good girl, Janie. Oh my gosh! Yeah, oh my I hate that guy in Sons of Anarchy. 
<laughs> but he he's like super old looking now. He is. Compared to Keanu Reeves, like oh, by a lot, you know. Yeah, he yeah, looks younger and. Like Keanu Reeves nowadays is just like he grew a beard. <laughs> like. <laughs> <laughs> He has a few more wrinkles on his face, but for the most part, like, it's, cr yeah, he's one of those, he doesn't really like, look like he ages, it's so weird. to see who he needs to see, but you, you need bed rest. Man. This does remind me of. I was hoping more for this movie. What, what's what that game you? that we played? This Observer. Soma? Oh. Yeah. A yeah. Bit of a so you don't go, in, you don't go into someone else's brain, you're just storing yeah. data in your head. Yes, someone yeah. already went into your brain. Yeah. <laughs> He's also from Legend of Korra, apparently. The uh, wrestler guy? Yeah. Oh, that's uh -oh. who. I always hear that, uh, and I always think people Zaheer? are saying... They just Legend ran of... over Jesus. Yeah, they just ran Z over the shepherd Zelda. dude. Yeah, a uh, 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 Korra. Um, Legend of Zora. Oh. That's why I always think people are saying. Because your like, brain gets Zelda, but yeah. you're... you're well, you Zora's, uh, Zora's are... Uh, our, our race in Zelda. So mm, like, oh, cool! They made a spinoff. Oh, I, you guys aren't talking about Legend of Zoras <laughs> or Legend of Zoro. Hmm. What would that game be like? Uh, I think like Red Dead. But yeah, that's it. No, it's just Red you're, Dead. But you're you're a mass swordsman instead. Yeah. Simple. Oh whoa. I'm hungry. I'm starving <laughs> to death. Gosh. You can tell because I'm crying about it. Uh, what if you were doing that and you're like in the silence of a movie theater and you just start doing that? Yeah. I want popcorn. It would be more like people. It actually happened a lot in like, like, I don't know what, what makes people cry. Oh, oh, OK. So here, here's what it would be like. Um, the ending of Crazy Rich Agents. <laughs> Weed. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so happy for them. I can't tell if you're making fun of me. Or... No, I'm just saying this is what it would, that's, that's why it's so funny because it sounds like you're mocking, but I'm saying, what if you cried and your voice became baby talk? And then so Wait, you'd be watching. Yeah, you, you wouldn't be able to, you would not be able to control it. So you're watching. Crazy Rich Asians. They're cr you're, wait, what, 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 what were you saying when you were crying? Why, why were you crying? Like, what was the what would what would you say the emotion was? Um, I guess you're happy it would be, for them. Yeah. Well. Yeah. But I, I specifically, me, I specifically cried because I was like, he doesn't deserve her. He doesn't deserve her. Oh no. <laughs> See, that's what it would be like. I'm not mocking you. I'm saying in this world, that's what you would be saying instead. You sound like Adam Sandler. I know, I know. I'm slowly becoming him. Oh. Adam Sandler is just future me. Oh, no. I just went back in time and, like, bought Google stock. Wait, is that how that works? Does that make any sense? Yeah, no. Yeah, that doesn't make... I guess. Yeah, and I guess that's how it would. I would live in the past. I don't know. What? I can't, I can't wait to be rich. <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> Where did that come from? What? Be rich? What? No, yeah, like Google be, stock. I, oh, because that's how. Because why would he? Why would he come back in time? How did he get so rich? That's what I'm Who saying. Who went back in time? Me. I'm Adam Sandler from the past. Oh, I see. Adam, in order for me to coexist with Adam Sandler, who's myself from the future, I must have gone back in time. I completely missed the bit, like that part of the bit. So I yeah. understand now. Because now I would go, for, like, let's say, I, I don't know, whenever I go back in time, I'd go back to now-ish or, you know, a few years ago, and I would already know all the stock things to buy <laughs> and ha know I how see. to buy them. So I'd buy Google stock. But what if Adam Sandler is just living a life where he's just like, my life is so complicated, money just... It's Wait, more problems, more money. I want to go back in time and be a Twitch streamer. No, 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 no. Because he would tell me about that. Because I'm the past version of him. Because I'm younger, so he, he must be the future version of me that traveled back in time. And if he's if he was living a life that was so complicated, he would warn me not to do it. So as you can see, it's worked out great for me because I have not told myself not to go back in time. If uh, it uh, thing happening back to the future. Where no, you don't know what you're talking about. No, no. <laughs> where, the, where the main antagonist got like the sports almanac, and then he went back and oh no, yeah, an older version of the main antagonist got the sports almanac mm -hmm. from the future, gave it to the past self, 
and he had all the sports scores of like the, the next coming scores. games. Yeah, but here's the thing about that. Here's the thing about that. Board. That's a movie, okay? And that's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> that was written for entertainment. This is real. You don't know. And then Jared also said the DeLoreans are are awful. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you wouldn't make it out of a Lamborghini or, or a Bugatti is what you'd probably make your, your time machine out of. Oh, yeah. Because yes. those actually could go fast. <laughs> this car is so nice. It goes so fast. It's so pretty. <laughs> Thank you for oh, buying it for me, off. future self. <laughs> I, I think I hate this. <laughs> I think this is something that I hate. <laughs> Oh, no. oh, I hate this boy. <laughs> yeah, you when you you a voice you make me sad. <laughs> oh man, this is terrible. I want this movie to go I just faster. It's just talking. I just realized. What? What'd you, you realize? Realized? That um, that's the lady from CSI. Miami. No, the original like CSI. Hmm. I don't know. It's the young, younger girl. Okay. I don't like no one. No, I'm going to guess no one else They're watches just... that show, but besides you, so we have no input on okay. that. <laughs> y- yes. Let's just smile and nod. Yes, recipes. You're correct. It's amazing. Which 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 show? CSI. Oh yeah. Uh, sorry. CSI <laughs> CSI bowl. How about that? Huh. What? CSI Bowl? I, I Ball? CSI Bowl? Acai Bowl? Acai Bowl? Yeah, Acai Bowl. CSI Bowl. Oh, I see. I understand. Oh, very good, Jerry. I'm proud of you. <laughs> Fun. I did one. <laughs> <laughs> I hope Julia listens to this and is proud. She should. I need to reinstate that, you guys. If you guys are on, if you guys are on the podcast, you should be listening to the episodes that you're not on for sure. That goes to everyone, everyone ever. Oh, also, yeah. if, you're not ta- if you're not talking, yep. you should you should be helping download them and spread the word and tell your friends. Tell your friends. Go to buffeverbuddies.com. Yes, spread the propaganda. Yeah, and then and then also, um, like we'll just to make sure we'll sneak in insults and you have to find them. That's right. Like I'm gonna subliminal. Yeah. I, well, I think what we will do is yeah, we like make fun of you and then you call us out on it and then we'll stop. But we'll just keep doing it until you actually tell us to stop. So it's in your best interest, too. It's like a slow roast. Yeah. Oh, no, it's Borderlands again. Let me see if I can upload this. Jack has all the data. Wait, isn't that the... Why is my case coming off? What? Isn't that the... Um... Isn't that the guy from Inception? Oh, no. Wait, what? Who? Wait, oh, you who? mean you mean the guy that they're actually trying to incept, the Asian guy? Yeah. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Um, I don't even look at his face. No. Oh no, it's I not. It's just... Takashi. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he's the he's border uh, Borderlands freaking a. He's a uh, battle royale. There you go. I was like, he's, a, he's in. Yeah, he's like the per- the the teacher in battle Have royale. Have we done battle royale? No, but I'm but just saying, like, I was like, I know this I guy's face. I didn't listen to it on the podcast, I've never seen that movie. I've only seen 74 movies. <laughs> in your entire also, life. Also, in the lore of this podcast, no other movies exist outside of it. You can't bring other movies in here. Beat Takashi, that's right. So then how do we base our references? How do like, we base our ratings on, like, like pop culture references if... And our jokes on pop culture references. I, we don't do. We never did any of those. We, ne- we I know. Do we don't. Do I that. said. I started <laughs> saying that. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> but um, no, like, I uh, no. This mm, podcast nope. is pop culture. By it definition, it's, itself. It's popular culture. Pod culture. Pod culture. <laughs> <laughs> what did you think I said? <laughs> wow, I cannot log in on Rabbit on my phone. On the website, I guess it doesn't like that. Why you want to watch it twice? Uh, I want to post a photo into chat. Oh, here we. Oh, I did it. Oh, I did it. Wait, how can we have so many people in here? So many people. 
Oh, I didn't even realize people were jumping in. Yeah, you guys. Who, who's even who's here now? Uh, Aranya. Oh, I that's it. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. It looks like a lot more. <laughs> So many people are jumping in. One more person jumped in. <laughs> well, uh, well, also a second me, but here we go. There we go. There it goes. A second you? You that got downloaded? Yeah, it's a downloaded version of me. <laughs> no one's commenting. <laughs> it's, uh... Who, who sent her? <laughs> who sent her? Oh, so yeah. I was driving home and I looked up I was like, God, 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 and I was like doing that thing where I was fumbling my phone because I was trying to get a photo of it before the light turned green and I barely got it and I was like, oh dang, it was really shaky, but it's so funny. It's photo center, but the lights are out. It says poo center. Did, <laughs> did you ever see the one that I took about the place that it's supposed to be called Golden Glass? Oh <laughs> man. Oh no. Oh no. And then <laughs> what did it say? Olden glass? <laughs> no. Yeah, how did you know? Oh, it's so embarrassing for them. Golden glass. Hey, I want some old glass. No, oh, gosh, there's signs out. It's actually golden glass. Oh, I don't want Gold. that. So I'm assuming this movie came out in between uh, <laughs> Goldie. Goldie. Oh, man. That's even funnier. Um, I'm assuming this movie came out in between uh matrix and bill and ted's and i'm like i'm hoping his character is like a halfway point between them he's like i hope he is like the i know kung fu dude like i want i want to know like cuz he wants room service really bad <laughs> what he wants room, he wants room, wait, room uh, service i don't understand this movie he wants to be like super rich Oh, that's why he's doing brain stuff? Yeah, because it's like really, it's illegal, like transferring or whatever. It should be worth a lot of money, but I don't know. Brain is it kind of like um, the the book that Blade Runner is inspired by? Uh, can you dream of electric sheep or something like that? Maybe. <laughs> um, probably the, guy, the guy sheep. wants an organic animal because that's like status. Oh, interesting. So they have like no more organic animals in that book? Like, like, cause you know how it's like, it's like replicants and whatever. It's like fake, fake animal. Or robot, robot animals. They have robot animals, like robot pets. But he wants like a real, he wants a sheep, something like that. I'm trying to remember it. I don't. <laughs> but he's a robot and he wants an electric sheep. So the book is pretty literal. He's a, he's a, he's a, he's a, Replicant? That's yeah. technically not a robot, right? How is it technically not a robot? Because they're orga they're organic, but they're man-made. Uh, I guess so. Yeah. <laughs> hey, look at a post from a year ago. What were we doing? Oh, how's we your hair? Did VR for some reason? Why do we have a VR headset? I don't remember. What are you talking? About? Oh, I did. I don't know, look at the post from Instagram of us. And no, the, the caption says, tell me where the drugs are. Tell me where the drugs are. It <laughs> <laughs> doesn't make any sense. <laughs> <laughs> what is, the caption doesn't even match a photo. I just put it on our story. If you're listening to this, it's already gone. <laughs> but you guys here, go check the story. I'm gonna check right now. <laughs> Same. Who's Billy? This is a bad podcast episode. I'm sorry. Um, who's Billy Eichner? 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 Isn't that a actor band? He sounds like an actor. He sounds like an actor person. Lucio says I remind him of that guy. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. <laughs> Wait, why does it say tell me where the drugs are? I don't know. Can I go to the post? See post. Okay. Oh, you know what? I 100% I know. Uh, L.A. Noir. Oh, my gosh. That was a year ago? Yeah, I guess so. It was so funny. That was so funny. Yeah, now that it's unpaused. <laughs> but that, that photo with the caption doesn't make any damn sense at all. <laughs> 
So if you, oh, okay, so if you are listening to this, you want to know what we're talking about. You go back to January twenty fifth, two thousand eighteen, uh, on and, Instagram.com on slash Instagram. up the yeah, up the our yeah up up the gram up the down <laughs> gram. You're doing a great job. Keep up it up. Down left gram. This gram. movie is like this is a bad episode because this movie is like it is a lot of talking and those we know those are bad for us. So here's a, here's the thing about how did this get made in our podcast is that. They watch the movies. So, like, do you act? No, it doesn't matter if it's a lot of talking. It's whether or not it's a bad movie and they can talk about it afterwards. But our <sighs> podcast relies on so much more visual stuff that it could be a terrible movie or really funny. But if, if it's just like two people in a room, like the whole movie, then it makes it hard for us to like really dial in on some of the ridiculous things that they're doing. Besides like, no. him, besides him yelling, I want room service. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just ever go to the top of your nearest hill and just scream, I want room service? Yeah. All the time. I mean, when I want room service, sometimes it works. <laughs> yeah. I just open the door and go, I want room service, until someone shows up. Next Does time. that guy in the background just fall down the stairs? I didn't see what you're talking about at all. Is that the lady that's married to Tim Burton? <laughs> Helen Helena oh. Bonham Carter? No. What? Is that? Her? No. Who's Wait, Helen? Why did you just say Wait, Hel- Helena you say? Bottom Carter, something yeah, like that. Yeah, Helen, something. It it's looks Helena. Helena. Oh, Helena? is it really? Helena. Helena. Well, she I looks like Helena. her. Well, it looks like her. Is that her? It looks like her. No. Maybe well, like her mixed with CSI. Maybe How her mixed with Signore Waver. They have a what is this <laughs> tower? What is this tower of RC or CRT TVs? Tower of RC Colas. Why is this what they were stealing in the first Fast and the Furious so they could build this stupid tower yeah. of ancient technology? Ancient technology. Here's what I'm gonna do. If I'm rich, I'm gonna give like a house tour and be like, check it out. 18 black and white TVs. And someone's gonna be like, what? <laughs> like, yeah, costs a lot of money. Like, those aren't good. What if you were like obsessed with the past? Got them. Got them wired, no, because I'm like, I got them wired together to make one big screen. Yeah, but there's so much bezel in between all the screens. Top of the line. For oh, 90- here, let me pitch you this idea. What if you're obsessed with the past because you lost something back there? Okay. What? And then, and then, so the only way to get back. Here, here, here. You were watching a movie with a childhood friend. And they got sucked into the black and white TV and you never found them again. So you're obsessed with collecting black and white TVs in order to get them back. Like my grandpa. Yeah. This is basically just trolls, too. Cause, Troll cause 2. Maximilian Pegasus stole my grandpa. <laughs> oh, this is now a Yu-Gi-Oh reference. <laughs> yeah. At work, they play Yu-Gi-Oh up in the front and it cracks me up because I have no the idea what's going on. The card game? No, the like the anime. Oh. Like we have a TV in the front. Oh, I thought that people were playing Yu-Gi-Oh. Like in the reception area, I'm just like, uh, and sometimes I have to go up in the front to cover it, and then so it's just a lot of like, it's like I that, don't know what's happening. Yeah, well, it's like so dumb too because like, I mean, you'll find like memes about it, but they always they break the rules constantly, or they just make up rules that are not a part of the it's card like Harry game. Potter. Yeah, it's like, no, but wait, I played that game. You can't do that. <laughs> like, my favorite thing, the only thing that stands out to me was there's a card that's like a fortress or something. I don't know exactly how it works. I never actually seen the card personally, like in real life, but it, it is a fortress. And that's like, so the game is you attack that card, right? Like, it's another monster on the field and you attack it. But what Yu-Gi-Oh did, Yu-Gi, while playing in their stupid virtual game, targeted a specific part of the castle to weaken it as like... As you might do in a fighting game, like I weakened you oh. by attacking your legs. Like, no, you don't. You don't get to pick parts of the card to lower its defense. That's just not how it works. It has fixed stats. You either destroy it or you don't. Like it was so weird. And I was like, you can't do that. Is that the moment you stopped watching Yu-Gi-Oh? Yeah, kind of. No, I mean, I finished the next couple of seasons, but I mean, come on. You know, like it was always like this thing where like you can't learn to play the game from that show, which was always super frustrating. <laughs> I just picture small Jared trying to learn how to play Yu-Gi-Oh by watching I'm like the taking show. notes. Yeah. yeah. Playing like... <laughs> oh, another thing and I always And then just lo- throwing his notebook on the floor going, that's not how that <laughs> yeah. works. Another one, he, did it, he did it constantly. He used, there's, a, there's like a duplicator. <laughs> okay. There's a duplicator <laughs> of monsters, like spell. 
And then he would get uh-huh. the, this weak card called a Karibo. It's a super weak thing, but it's super easy to summon. <laughs> so he would summon that and then like duplicate it like infinitely and it became like an unpenetrable wall. Because like what would happen it was like you, it was off against Kaiba. Kaiba would do blue eyes white dragon. Blue eyes white dragon attack, and then it'll like to blow up all the. He'd be like, oh, 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 and then the smoke will settle, and there's just more Kribo spawning to fill in the, the blanks in this wall. It's like, that's impossible! But it's like, if you read the, how that duplicator card works, it makes f- clone of like four. <laughs> like, that's it. You just you would just attack four of them, and they'd be gone. They don't just continuously populate the field. No. <laughs> so that was always super funny. What if, what if everyone, what if Yugi just didn't know how to play Yu-Gi-Oh? Just cheating but everyone was just like, yeah, you know, it's like when that kid brother doesn't know how to play, but you kind of let it slide. Yeah, yeah. Like, what if you're just like, uh, okay, oh no, you, you know, I, I activated your whatever card and stuff. It's not your turn, but yeah, yeah, oh no. <laughs> and then you just hear in the distance, your mom going, just be nice. Yeah. That guy just got ninja On the dance floor? I like that uh, Keanu Reeves here is like attached to like a weird VR headset th- that's like connected to a dolphin. <laughs> <laughs> he had so long to move out of the way. Okay, d- wait, did he, did he? Okay. No, he didn't. Did he die? I'm so confused. The car fell from yeah, like 13 stories and the guy just stood there. Whoa. What the heck? The dolphin just swimming around in VR. It doesn't even know. I can totally see them remaking this movie. Oh, yeah. They could redo it. They could make a new, like, a Blade Runner remake. It would be way good. What You know what they could do? Not a remake. They maybe make a sequel slash remake. Where oh, it, I see. It, it's all it's self-contained. You don't need a reference this first one, but it's Johnny Mnemonic now, like, 30 years later or whatever. That would be cool. Yakner, the new Blade Runner. Florida. Yeah, so no. it would be Johnny New Monic, and this is Johnny Old Monic. Dad to rename Monic. it. Dad have to go and like if you if you own this, you yeah. Have to... They would just spell it with a P. <laughs> yeah. Well, what they would do is they would do a recall. If you like own the VHS or the DVD of this version, please send it in so we can send you a different version with the updated name. It'd be very expensive, but I mean it's the only way to do it. What about Johnny Neo Monic? Because. Neo is new. Yeah, and it's ne- oh. it is Neo. And it's Neo, the the boy. That's, well, I mean, that's oh, the thing. Like, like after doing the Matrix, Henry actually prefers to be referred to as Neo. He's like, <laughs> he's referred to me as Neo, the Neo. Actually, they he says, the Neo, the Neo. How about just uh, Johnny Monic? John John Mon. John Mon. <laughs> he's a Digimon now. He's also part of the Game Grumps. It's John Tron and John Mon. <laughs> and the other one. I don't know the other one. A A run. A <laughs> run. I don't know. <laughs> um, and, and Pokemon. <laughs> uh, did I ever tell you guys my dream about Keanu Reeves? I know I, I said it on the 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 no, stream. why don't you tell us again? Because, you know, what? here's the thing. If you did, it was probably on episode, like, one. And so those people are <laughs> long gone. Okay. We're so just training a... listeners like crazy. We don't retain a single person. It's always, <laughs> yeah. we hook them in, but we, we get them to listen. But we never get them to come back. So you just have to keep telling <laughs> the stories over. Just the same same content over and over. Um, so I had a dream that we were all friends uh, Keanu Reeves. And when I say we, I mean, like, my family. I, Jared was there. And then... Oh, cool. All right, thanks for inviting me. And, and then, like, you know, for like, once Julia... you thought of me outside of the stream, and, and you, then, you decided so, to include me on something cool. And so, not like... like uh, you know, it's not like you went to, like, a room escape without me or something like that. Anyway, so... Um, or or, or Disneyland. What? <laughs> Nothing, I'm just... I'm just making it. <laughs> I'm just saying things that you've done without me. Usually I keep my family life and my friend life mm, very separate. Okay, well I thought you were you I kind of consider you my family, but okay, I see how that is. <laughs> Anyways, um so I don't want to tell the story anymore. <laughs> <laughs> no, tell the story about Keanu Reeves' dream. Um it's a it gets saucy, right? <laughs> It, no, so we were we were just all friends. <laughs> Wait, he, what? What did you say? What, what are you insinuating? 
we uh, we, he he was a big fan. He's a big fan of tennis, so he actually invited us over to his mansion to play tennis. And so I remember we were playing tennis, and then after we played tennis, we're like, oh, let's go back inside and watch a movie. How about watching The Matrix? And Keanu Reeves go, I don't want to watch The yeah, Matrix. Yeah, that, that's pretty real. I was going to say, Keanu Reeves would not want to watch The Matrix. <laughs> and that was it. That was my dream. Okay. Yeah, I, I believe that. That's something he would not want to do. That might have been real. That might have been something that actually happened, Tiffany. That sounds believable enough. Because, you know, dreams are usually like, and then his head became a balloon and flew away. But you'd, none of that happened. So that leads me to believe that that was a real thing. Oh, I also know Keanu Reeves IRL. Yeah, I, I would think so. How come, how come we never watched The Matrix? Oh, that's right. He doesn't want to watch The Matrix. Okay, never mind that. I, I, I get it. I understand why we never hang out with him. Yeah, he's just actually a silent viewer. He's in chat right now. <laughs> Is he... Let me look at all the names. Oh my gosh. <laughs> is Chris Alberti kind of reads this whole time? Yeah. That's why when you ask him like his ratings, he's always just like 10 out of 10 Keanu's. He's, he's like 10 out of 10. It was it the Matrix. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad about that. Um, <laughs> well, okay. Let me pitch you this idea, Jared. Yeah. Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, live action movie. Kaiba is Keanu Reeves. Yeah, I could see that with a big white wig. Hell yeah, that'd be great. It'd be so funny. Wait, which one's Kaiba? Oh, Kaiba? Never mind. I'm sorry. He would make a perfect Kaiba. I take the back. That's, there's no joke about that. There's no joke. <laughs> it just would work. Jackie Chan as Pegasus. Um, uh, ooh. <laughs> that'd be, that's a departure from the <laughs> source material, but okay. <laughs> and Yugi would be... <sighs> Did he chop off his hand and now he's falling down? Yugi played by Asa Butterfield. I don't know who that is. He's in... Asa Butterfield. Uh, I feel like that he'd make actually... Oh, he's really young. Never mind. Oh, you know what? Isn't no, 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 no. Isn't he young? Yeah, sort of. Ace, no, this <gasps> Asa Butterfield kid? Kaiba's little brother. 100%. So good. Oh, man. Keanu Reeves, right? That's yeah. Keanu Reeves and Asa Butterfield as yeah. siblings. This Asa Butterfield kid looks like, um, boy. Boy. Oh. Atreus? Yeah, he looks like Atreus. He can play oh. IRL Atreus. He's really tall, though. That's the problem. Oh, is he really? Oh, he, yeah, yeah, he's like, he's one of those, like, British actors who are like, he look his face looks 12, but he's actually 90 years old. Oh, uh, really? Like, Man, he looks like a kid. Oh, dude, yeah, he is, uh, oh, he's 21 years old. Yeah, oh, wow. Yeah, I thought he was gonna be, like, 12. He looks, yeah, he's 21. Um, because then what this photo, if you Google him, that comes up, he kind of has, like, a faux hawk, and I'm like, oh, dude, that already is, like, pretty dang close to the Treyas hairstyle. Well, they can make him look shorter. They made, um, like, the Hobbit. <laughs> you know, the cool Yes, that's true. He's kind of like that guy. Well, he's not at all. Oh, yeah, he's six foot tall. Oh, my gosh. Um, but he's kind of like that guy in uh, Hannah Montana, her her best friend. Oh, he's like, like 30. He's like 38. It's great. <laughs> Man, after I learned that, that show is so funny. It's just like, that guy's so old. Why is he going to school with them? <laughs> Dude, honestly, that should be. They should make a show that. About him only? Yeah, yeah, but it's from his perspective as an adult sneaking into a school, like an undercover cop angle, whatever it is. Oh, interesting. But it should be like on Adult Swim or like it should be like a like, yeah, they should be like, it's it's the Hammamon, Hammamon, Pam, Pamma show. You know, it's like, but it's all from his point of view of like why he's an adult faking he's a kid. Whatever reason they could figure but out. That would I be. I guess because they never addressed his age in the. Thing, right? In the he, he, show? In the show, canonically, he is a teenage kid. Oh, he, never he's mind. going But I'm saying, as an actor, he's 37, but I'm saying there's there should be another show that makes fun of Hannah Montana that uh, that brings in his real life age into the show canonically. Oh. So in the show, he's, he's oh, I'm, I'm 15 years old. I'm your best friend. But then there's an external show that's like, I'm actually 37 and I'm faking I'm a 15 year old. And this yeah, is my so story. Actually, why? Like, I want that. Like an explanation. I, I thought that's what you were going for. And I was like a spinoff of his story where 
in the show, yes. they actually never say his age because the family actually knows he's like an undercover old guy. Oh, no, no. I, th- I'm, I think he's fooling everyone. He's fooling oh. even Hannah Montana. Oh, I see. Like, she's like, he's, he's my best friend. He's like, I have to tell you something. I'm in love with you. I'm also 50, I'm 58 years old. I'm also being arrested because you're, you're, you're 12 in this show. <laughs> oh, it's his brother. Never mind. It's her brother. Her younger brother? I, I don't know the show very well. One, actually. Oh, okay. Older brother. Shit. I'm in love with you. I'm being arrested because you're my sister. <laughs> <laughs> that in turn. <laughs> Either way. Either way. Either way, someone's getting arrested. Yeah, it just, I don't know. I think it would be, why is he, why, uh, it could be a funnier thing. It could be not so weird. It could be like he's, un- you know, I, I, think it, I guess you're right. I guess in that story, he, they would have to know that he's an old person. I guess. They don't have to. How would they not know that their own son is not <laughs> real son? Oh. Mom isn't there. Oh. And, well, my, my, uh, I would think is, um, yeah, how how would yeah how would they, how would you get that? Well, yeah, like stepson, well, well, mom would, passed away. Well, I would say is what I would think is um oh oh man no I don't know that they know he's a cop I don't know yeah it, it falls apart. He's fooling everyone. He's fooling everyone. Okay, it's weird. <laughs> <laughs> it would be. I don't know how you get to that part where like you're adopted, but like you you got. How did you get adopted? Everyone. No, whole, no. You, like. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know. Like, I didn't know he was related to the family. That's where it gets complicated. No, no, no. Like so, so he he is the mom's son from a previous marriage. The mom isn't around anymore, but the mom never actually told the dad how old he was. The dad only knew, knew him as a <laughs> as he is now. You know. And so. Yeah. Yeah. He flies. Yeah, in. So, but no. no. <laughs> but you'd be able to no. calculate. You do some rough calculations. Well, I've been married to my wife for ten years. <laughs> you should, you should. She was catfishing him. <laughs> this is a this is a previous marriage. Yeah, but whatever. So. Pre- however long you were married for, right? That is yeah. the minimum age that that person must be. He, it's not like yeah, you had maybe. a kid and immediately got a divorce and got remarried, right? So you'd you'd add a few years on top of that. Okay, so okay, you, here, here. I don't how know. About this? Yeah, okay. He had a 20-year-old son when she got married. It's been 10 years. Now he's 30. And then she, they had they had Hannah Montana, and now she's like 8. So now he's like 38 or whatever. But so that means the mom would have had to get married when she was like 40 then. Yes, she looks young. Right. I know, I'm just saying, like, I feel like the math falls apart at some point. If you start really picking at it, I think the math okay, wouldn't here, make any sense. Okay, here, let me pitch you this idea. Mom's yeah. a vampire. <laughs> okay, cool, cool. So we got a, so it's it's kind of a Twilight crossover. Yeah. <laughs> Neat. Hey, they're reusing these same graphics. I like this VR headset that he it. has because it is looks a lot more like a Vive. It's a b- much bigger versus the other ones that he had on were like really slick. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Wait, 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 wait! Is he entering the Matrix? Oh why my gosh! It, why is the graphics for him so bad? It's uh, that reboot show. Why is he made out of paper? <laughs> the paper map. Look at the paper map. Or paper world. <laughs> paper world. It's like my favorite thing. Yeah, that was really funny. If you don't know what we're talking about, there's an Arma 3, which is a video game, like a, like a very serious military, like high simulation military game. And there's a video of these people playing it, but they're all talking like cavemen. So they're like big star in sky, rock thrower, big rock yeah. thrower, biggest rock they thrower. Call, they call uh, helicopters big blue beetles or yeah. something like that. I think, I think tanks are rock throwers. Or, or rock rock tigers? No. Rock, uh, rock rock tigers were like vehicles, like like jeeps. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, Grug, get in the rock tiger. Yeah. It is really funny. Just really, really funny. Don't worry. Trust it, us, it's funny. Yeah. You don't need to watch it. You could go to our YouTube channel and watch our videos instead. And that's fine, too. Those are also funny. <laughs> he has to hack his brain. own brain. Oh, did he go into his own brain because of the stuff they put in his brain is like... Is it like, corrupting him? I don't know, yeah. Did the movie freeze? Is it frozen for everyone else? Oh, that was weird. It was, yeah. For a bit, I guess. What is with the dolphin? I have zero idea why there's a dolphin. Uh, I guess that's what powers it, I think, maybe? Dolphins power it? Oh, the dolphin is like the VR machine. 
Oh yeah, maybe it's like a you know like Android Jelly Bean, Keanu Reeves Dolphin Boy. It's a CPU. Yeah, didn't get it like maybe he was de decrypting it or something like that. Man, these are some like still wow like right here these particle effects really good. Really, really, really. Some good. of the effects aren't all good. Like the paper Keanu Reeves is weird, but some of these effects are um, just amazing. Now I want to like get a Blu-ray and play it on a 4K. Whatever that is, and see, really look in, look at it, look at it, look at it, and really just look at it. How are they and uploading really it? And just look at it. Why is there TVs everywhere? Why are they uploading it all to like all TVs? How are they doing that? So Ice T became like the good guy. So you're wrong, recipes. You're so dumb. <laughs> yeah, I know. You with your extra life team, that's not ours. <laughs> Can you get a tattoo? I don't. Here's the thing. I don't approve of that. So now I definitely can't donate to your thing. I don't condone that. So. I was kidding before. <laughs> what? Oh, is he getting his memories back? Does he remember? He's like, oh, cool, I remember now. This is just like Blade Runner. Is that how Blade Runner works? Well, there's like that bit about the memories. The fake memories? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, maybe they're like fake memories. Okay, so we just end this podcast now. None of you sound like you want to be doing this. It's very hard to, you know, like I know, but we just we have to. It's a podcast. Yeah, you can. You, you also have the opportunity to. I'm doing. I've been. I'm talking right now. Yeah, everyone is talking. Also. No, everyone isn't. No. I'm sorry. I'm trying to. <laughs> what was that? Um, I'm like. Oh. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> you fell down. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. I think that was I, judging by the noise. That would be a left punch. Is based on, based on the earlier. The sound it's effects. like Julia's junk. <laughs> yeah. What the heck? What happened to this dude? Wait, is that that's the that's the shepherd guy? That's the Jesus oh, guy. That's right. They were like shooting him with like a magnifying glass. <laughs> like what was that? Well, and then he grabbed and then he grabbed the two wires. Oh, who was that was guy? The... What, was, what was his deal? Because, Wait, so yeah, I'm so confused. How did they save the day? <laughs> I don't because know. Here's here's the thing. I think that guy, he believed that everyone was, you know, a Satanist sinner because they believe so highly in technology. So he was trying to murder them all very violently because they believed so highly in technology. But obviously, technology is the progressing force, especially this far in the future. So they were just like, hey, get out. And they killed him. Sounds I, about right. I, I don't know. I, that sounds what? wrong to me. I don't know. I'm my just going to agree. Here's my problem. Yeah, I didn't understand the, like, you know, what, is, what, was the, what was the conflict that needed to be overcome? I didn't understand. I didn't yeah, know what that was. Yeah, how did they save the day? <laughs> I don't know what the problem was. I don't know who what the issue was. I don't know who the enemy was. I don't know what like what they were trying to overcome. From my perspective, Kennedy used to download a thing. Darth Laser Whip was following him. I don't know what happened to that dude. Then there was a, a dolphin, and then he had to do a VR battle, and then that was then the movie. I'm like not really sure what was the issue was. Who requested this? Uh, I think it was me. It was probably me because again, uh, it sounds. Here's my problem. How did this get made makes movies sound so much fun and I get all excited and go, oh yeah, man, that's just them being really good comedians. <laughs> so this is my bad. It was not it good. It was me? What? Oh, it was you? You must have done what? it on my behalf. Because I I wanted this too. I oh. Anyways. And if you want to vote on a movie and suggest movies, uh you can go to bufferbuddies.com. Uh, we have a link there to our Reddit, which is what we're currently using. If not, we'll always update that and tell you where to go. But right now, it's a Reddit. We go to Reddit.com 
Uh, you could suggest and vote on movies. You could also find the link to our Discord if you want to be on the podcast in case you're like, oh, I missed it. I want to be on there, partner. Uh, you just go over there, uh, click on the links and all that stuff. You can also find all the episodes on iTunes, which we appreciate if you give us a five-star rating. Um, or you can find it on whatever podcast platform that you could you could Google. Um, and that's, that's kind of it. I want to thank Monk Turner for the use of his theme song, uh, Evaporated Eric. That's one. You know that one? That one, yeah. You know that one? That's that's his song. He lets us wow. use it. Because I, I asked him, can we use it? And he was like, yeah. Like, we don't have money. He's like, that's okay. <laughs> he sounds like a cool guy. Yeah, he's a cool guy. He doesn't <laughs> even know. He, I think he probably forgot. Here's here's what I want. I want everyone to make this the biggest podcast ever until the, so until people are like 2D. I'm like, dude, I love your song on po- Buffer Buddies. And he'd be like, what the hell are you talking about? Because he's forgotten that he gave us he gave us those rights. I have it in writing. I have it in writing. But I would like it, love it if people start discovering him. Uh, that's that's the way we we can repay him, and I think that'd be a really funny thing. But you know that thing? It's worth a million dollars now. Um, yeah, man. Yeah, that's pretty much it. We could. Or, oh, now we rate the movies based on how we feel about the movie for this scenario, for this use case, which is a movie night with friends uh, and all that stuff. So um, I already forgot. I had one, and I forgot it. I forgot what so it was. So I will so go first myself. while you're thinking about okay. it. Uh, I rate this movie 10 out of 10 rock juice. That's pretty good. Uh, what, would I go next? Sure. All right. Five out of 10 brain gangs. Brain gangs. Brain gangs. Hmm. Uh, I give it one out of 10 dolphin CPUs. <laughs> <laughs> pretty good. Uh, yeah, you guys, uh, I'm typing mine out. Oh, uh, wow, Chris, you were really. How, why 10 out of 10? Chris, what? Who, uh, who gave it a 10? Out of, Chris Alberti. Oh, Chris Alberti. 10 I, out of 10 I, VR I headset. Give things 10 out of 10. Who did we miss? Did we, sever, did we read everyone's? Oh, Fumble. Aranya, where's yours? His, my, <laughs> mine's 3, three out of 10 baby crying voices. <laughs> You didn't uh, miss much. Uh, uh, Fava Lava, 10 out of 10. Ice tea actings. Ice acting. Tea. I don't, how do you even pluralize act, actings? actings. <laughs> 10 out of 10. I'm a, I'm Ice tea. Jared, I, Jared actings. How many units of that would you like? Three of them. Three Jared Ice tea performances. There you go. Oh, there you go. Is it actually spelled Fava tea? Fava goes to college. <laughs> no, it's just the letter. I can't wait for that movie. Fava goes to, Fava goes to college. And the sequel, Fava goes to job. <laughs> Fava repays the government. <laughs> Fava goes to the major debt. <laughs> I thought you going to say Fava goes into the Matrix. <laughs> Fava, Fava, that's the fourth, that's the fourth of the series. Fava goes into the Matrix to pay off major debt. Fava goes Fava to goes jail. To <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Fava, Fava's like just taking a turn. Fava repents and finds God. <laughs> <laughs>